Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Among our top stories tonight, trash in Saginaw not being picked up. Residents have been calling TV5 throughout the day. For some, they say their trash has been sitting on the curb for days, despite seeing priority waste trucks drive by. This is priority waste's first week picking up trash in Saginaw. One resident tells us she's never had to wait to have her trash picked up until now. It's like, hey, guys, it's sitting right there. It didn't move. <laughs> there's birds and there's, there, there's critters out here. And um, the longer we have it out here, the more we take a chance, they're going to start going through our trash. The Mid-Michigan Waste Authority sent us a statement saying they understand the frustration, adding priority waste crews are in a bit of a learning curve and hope to get better. The court does continue to find that it is in the best interest of justice to continue to finish placement at the Oakland County Jail. Oxford High School shooter Ethan Crumbly will stay put after a routine monthly hearing today. The ruling prevents Crumbly from being transferred to a juvenile facility. Last year, he pleaded guilty to killing four people and injuring seven in the shooting in November of 2021. Michigan Supreme Court Justice Kira Harris Bolden's law clerk Peter Martell resigning after criticism from another member of the court. Genesee County court records show Martell pleaded guilty to multiple charges filed in 1994, including armed robbery and assault. He was released in 2008 and later obtained a degree from Wayne State University Law School. Justice Richard Bernstein praised Martell's turnaround, but said he should not be clerking for the highest court in the state. Now here's Chris with your forecast. David, visibility continues to be on the lower side for many parts of mid-Michigan tonight. However, it is a little bit better than what we've seen at times this week. Still between about one and five miles in many spots, though, so just be careful tonight. And of course, even without the fog, sometimes drizzle really hard to see through at night as well. First alert, pinpoint Doppler radar tonight shows the showers passing on by. Some of them snow showers, other areas just seeing rainfall. So just a nasty mix of things tonight. We're finally expecting this area of low pressure to pull away from us, though, as we go into tomorrow. So things are finally starting to look up and right in time for the upcoming weekend. Hour by hour through tonight, any drizzle might change over to snow before it ends completely. And then into tomorrow morning, it appears we'll start the day largely dry. But then we've got another round of showers to get through tomorrow. And while the model is showing Showing just snow showers here based on how things have played out the last several days and with temperatures not changing all that much. Still think it's important to have a chance for some drizzle or rain in the forecast tomorrow as well. Low temperatures tonight, upper 20s to low 30s. Tomorrow should be right around the mid 30s. As we take a look at the next seven days, temperatures will stay pretty steady through early next week before eventually dropping off a little bit more by Wednesday. Our next best chance for rain and snow comes in on Tuesday. Even then, though, not a huge chance. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.